I want to share with you a different approach of looking at fitness and the transformative journey that this new mindset has taken me on. Not just physically, but mentally as well. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but my body has been going through a lot of changes over the past few months, and I've received a ton of questions about it. From my perspective, I am not an athlete. I've never really considered myself one. In fact, up until last September, working out was more of a task, just to check off my list every day, rather than what it is to me now, which is a celebration of just moving my body. And now I feel stronger and healthier and more agile than ever. I feel like I can just jump and lift and move and do anything better now than I could in my early 20s. So this hasn't really been to me about losing inches or slimming down or anything like that. Honestly, I've become that athlete that I never thought possible in a way. I've gained a lot of strength, my muscles have toned up a lot. Not only that, but my mental strength has skyrocketed. I feel more joyful and brave and confident and inspired every morning when I wake up. So it's truly been this full body transformation in that way. So today, I wanted to put together a video discussing why and how this new lifestyle came to be and how I think you could easily do the same thing if desired. 20 years of my life, I've been thinking about things from an art and design perspective, and I believe fitness can be an art form in itself, and it's become one for me, so let me explain. Just six months ago, I sat in my trainer's office for the very first time, and the initial question that he asked me was, Bethany, what do you hope to gain out of working with me? And I remember, at that point, I was so tired, and I was confused and frustrated with how my body was feeling both physically and mentally, and now being in my 30s, I had done everything that I knew possible to try, like eating super clean, taking supplements. I worked out a few days a week, doing mainly things like trail running and cardio at home, maybe a bit of strength training mixed in, but I still felt out of control. Like the work that I was putting in was not getting any results, and I was just hoping that my energy levels, my mentality could stop getting lower and lower. I wasn't ready to give up, but it was just starting to become overwhelming on my own. And on top of that, I was diagnosed with PCOS. I don't know if you or anybody that you love has experienced it, but I was diagnosed five years ago, and I was advised at that time to just start sweating every day to help manage it. And this is what I tried to do. I, it was like I was doing all the right things, but why couldn't I feel more in control of my body? So I was done experimenting on my own and it was just time for me to hire a professional. So I booked that meeting with my trainer and he happened to be one of the best trainers in the industry, just happened to live in my city. His name is Ben Crosswhite, by the way, and he's been training contestants for Miss USA, celebrities, and even a few pro athletes, and then lots of women ages 18 to probably 85. So when I had the opportunity to work with him, I took a jump at it. So we're gonna have elbows up, loose grip in the fingers, push those elbows forward a little bit more, there you go. And then stepping, keeping it down, stepping forward, normal lunge, don't let the knee cross both knees at 90, and then on the way up, we're gonna drive the bar straight to the ceiling, tighten the grip, coming back down, loosen the grip, elbows stay up and high, keep your core tight, okay? Keep it going, into the next, perfect. Yes, perfect, Bethany. I think by showing up to every workout and seeing the method behind how the workouts were formulated, understanding the techniques that made each exercise effective in order to target a certain group of muscles, it just showed me that here again, there's a design process behind exercising. Just like any art medium I've ever learned, I told Ben that one of the first changes that I noticed was starting to feel my core strengthen. It was like even when I wasn't flexing, the muscles just were always engaged and then my posture started improving and I was embracing this new art form. It was like I was sculpting my figure and within the first three months, I lost about 8% body fat, which equaled maybe 11 pounds and I've just been gaining muscle since then. Not only that, but as a woman with PCOS, my cycle started regulating. I felt stronger for the first time in years. And so on the personal side, people who knew I was working out and being more disciplined when I would share a meal with them, they would just ask me like, why am I doing it? But a few weeks in, people started asking me how I did it. 
Even people at the gym started asking me for tips, which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> but people online especially would ask me because they would watch a video that I made five months back and then they'd see that something changed. So they'd start to ask me, Bethany, how did you lose weight? How much did you lose? What are you eating? What's your routine? But one of my favorite responses was from somebody who said, Bethany, I loved your before and I love your after but we're all our own sculptures, aren't we? And that just stuck with me because while most of my discussions with you all have been style related, it has been a study of dressing our proportions and always accepting and even celebrating our unique figures. And I've enjoyed seeing how I might try to train my shoulders to have more emphasis just beyond what clothing can do to enhance or fade. In this way, it really does feel quite like a sculpture where I can challenge myself in what I ask my body to do or to grow like. And in this small act of self-care every day, that I can make a change. And so now I'm able to wake up every day and I'm just excited about taking care of myself with dressing myself in new ways, with feeling capable, which ultimately leads me to a deeper level of self-respect. And finally, I feel like me, and this is what I want for you all as well. So how can I help you find this for yourself? Well, while I've been sharing little bits of my workouts on my Instagram, and you all have asked me for a full workout video, I know that one workout video or a photo of my salad isn't going to help anybody long-term. And plus, I'm just not a real professional in this space. <laughs> I've just started like six months ago. And so I just really wished that I could give you all access to my trainer and know directly from him how he trained me and other women like me to see such amazing results. And just like any time that I've found huge wins with confidence, like with style, I felt like I had this incredibly valuable resource that I wished I could share. Well, here's the biggest news that I've been keeping under wraps for the past few months. I asked Ben to write a fitness program that shares the workouts that I have done and the guidelines he gave me on what to eat each week and he kindly agreed. So he created a six week workout program. One version is for home and the other version is for the gym workouts. So whichever one you wanna take that's best for your lifestyle, every week during the program, you'll get access to a new workout guide and each exercise within the guide includes detailed videos and photo examples of me completing them. So you definitely won't be alone. Um, I also love it too because doing each one of these workouts was still so challenging to me, even six months in, and I definitely worked up a sweat. But if you're completely new to fitness, we also included alternative beginner versions of exercises just to help you as you're building strength through those weeks like I did in those first six weeks. And you can also follow full workouts in a video just from start to finish if you prefer to watch it that way. And we'll be moving our bodies three days a week with rest days in between. On the nutrition side, we've included video lessons with Ben covering weekly eating guidelines like recommended food and macro and calorie goals. But I didn't wanna just stop there. I wanted to bring some expertise in of my own and just be sure to over deliver. So I'm gonna give access to a bonus masterclass. They're a set of videos each week that we'll release and it'll be broken down into different overarching themes like mindset and confidence and nutrition from what I'm doing, style and fitness, and beauty and skincare. I'm also gonna include fitness hairstyles and hair care, and then finally, shoes and accessories for the gym. Enrollment is open right now, and week one of the program is gonna start on Monday for everybody, which is my birthday, by the way. So that's gonna be the last day to join before I close down the sign up portion. But I love the idea that everybody's gonna be able to take it on their own time from around the world all together and you can visit leosculpt.com to learn more about it and to sign up. So why the name Leosculpt? Well, recently I discovered my ancient Italian family heritage and our last name was Leonardo, which means brave as a lion. And they lived in this tiny village outside of the palace in Caserta, which is known for its lion sculptures and all the lions have crowns at their feet. And so I'm just blown away by this. So I adopted Leonardo as my last name, at least as a pen name online, during a time when I truly needed to embody bravery and do something 
something I was scared to do. That same day, I found a note in my pocket that read, for God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-discipline. That's so great because you cannot choose fear and power at the same time. You cannot choose fear and love at the same time. And if you're taking steps, actionable steps with self-discipline in your life, you're choosing that instead of fear. See, self-confidence is a superpower. And once you start to believe in yourself, that's when the magic starts happening. So when I discover a new approach to finding confidence as a woman, I am all in on sharing it with you all. Like I did when I shared how I discovered my personal style and then created a system on how you could find yours. Well, here I am again with some life-changing information on how you can grow in confidence every day, how to choose power and love and self-discipline instead of fear every day, and how to start seeing yourself as a crowned lioness sculpture seated in the castle like you've always deserved to see yourself every day. I love you and I can't wait to see the power in you that you unlock by believing in yourself and now I believe you have the tools in order to show up for yourself like never before. So number one, let me know in the comments which one you joined, whether that's the home version or the gym version. Secondly, thank you to Ben for joining me in creating this program and for sharing his expertise with not only me, but for all of us. And thirdly, ah, <laughs> thank you guys so much for everybody who just said positive things to me while I've been on this new health journey. And I just can't wait to see what great things come from it. And I'm gonna see you inside. See you next Monday, bye.